Hey guys, today we're going to be testing the 50 peso gold centenario coin. Uh, this coin was originally minted in Mexico by La Casa de la Moneda. It was uh, minted to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Mexican independence. Um, I'm not going to go into detail as far as the history of this coin. I'm rather going to focus on the on proving that this coin is in fact uh, an authentic coin or at least made up of the material that it's supposed to be made up of, which is 90% gold and 10% copper. And to do so, I um, gather a list of uh, specs from a couple websites that I found out, um, which is uh, the American Precious Metal Exchange and also the Casa de la Moneda website. And um, I'm going to put them in this video and you can pause it so you can write them down. And uh, if you happen to be testing one of these coins, you can use these values and compare it to your, uh, to your values, see what you get. Okay, so as you can see from the notes, we, can, we saw that uh, the, this coin is about 41.67 grams in weight. So we're going to go ahead and uh, measure that. As you can see, I got my little handy scale here. It should be about 41.67 grams with a difference of plus or minus 0.15 grams. So let's see how that goes. Okay, make sure your scale is there. As you can see, this coin is 41.68 grams which uh, pretty much fits the, 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 the specifications. You can do a few measurements before you actually conclude the weight of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure, make sure that the scale is there. So again, 41.67 is well within the limit. It's 0 0.01 grams different from the last measurement, but it's really not much, not very much significance. So, we concluded that it is 4.167 grams on average, which is what we're expecting. Now we're gonna go ahead and measure, get our, our caliper. This is a electronic caliper measurer. And we're gonna go ahead and measure the, the coin for its uh, outside dimensions. First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and measure the, the diameter of this coin, which is supposed to be about 37 millimeters or about 37.5 within a plus 0 0.05 or minus 0 0.05 margin. So again, we have 37.8. We can safely assume that this coin has meets the requirements for the diameter. Okay, we can take different sides. Should be about the same. There you go. So another angle. So there you have it, 37.8 millimeters. Now we're gonna go ahead and measure the thickness of it. We're gonna go ahead and measure the 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 thickness at the edge of this coin and it should be on average about 2.7 according to the numbers that, that we have and, and from picked up from the American Precious Metal Exchange website. So again 2.67 it's fairly close. Make sure that your caliper is calibrated 2 to 0. Make sure that there's no there you go, that way you can measure accurately. I have this paddings. I kind of customize my, my uh, caliper. You don't have to. There is uh, the reason as to why I, uh, I use some paddings is just so that um, the coins won't get damaged in the process of the measurements. That way I won't scratch them. And um, so you can see it's about 2.70, so checks out. It's about 2.70, 2.69.
Now, we're gonna go ahead and use another different tool for this next procedure. I'm gonna be measuring the thickness of the coin with an ultrasound. For this next test, we're gonna be using this, um, this uh, ultrasound thickness gauge. And we're gonna be uh, using the value of 3,376 meters per second. Again, the speed of sound through gold is about 3,240 meters per second. And the speed of sound through copper is uh, about 4,600 meters per second. So that means that about 90% of the time, the speed of sound in this uh, in this coin is going to be traveling at, at 3240, and then 10 percent of the time is tra is going to be traveling a little faster than that, this, which is going to be about 10 percent of the time is going to be traveling at 4600 meters per second because that's the speed of sound through copper, and this is again a 90 percent gold and 10 percent copper alloy. So that's how I got this uh, this particular number which I'm dialing in of uh, 33,376 meters per second. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and calibrate our tool. And to do that in this particular model, you just hit the escape button and then arrow up or down until you find the calibrating tool. And then once I find the calibrating, I highlight it, hit okay, put a little bit of gel on the on the disc that it, that uses the probe to calibrate this this tool and there you have it so now it's ready to be used on the coin now we can I'm going to take two different parts of this coin I'm going to go ahead and measure the thickness of this coin under the each of the wings and I'm going to compare the readings from this uh, measuring device to uh, the caliper I'm going to measure it from the outside as well so I'm going to go ahead and put some gel on the coin now I'm going to be measuring the thickness of this coin as you can see About 2.46 millimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that that same side. I'm gonna compare it to the reading. Again, make sure that your caliper is also calibrated at zero. There you go. So. And it's about about the same, about two point four four five. So it checks out the measurement, the thickness underneath the wing, compared to the one on the thickness gauge, ultrasound thickness gauge. So now we're gonna go ahead and measure the other side. And it looks like it's giving me a reading of about 2.31 millimeters. Again, you got to understand that there's going to be different thicknesses throughout the surface of this coin because of all the engraving and all the, this, the, the porous surface. So that's why I chose two, two sides to make sure that, that I get the proper reading. So make sure again, you're, your uh, caliper is at zero so we got a reading of about 2.31 which is what we're looking for so this side there you have it about 2.31 so it checks out that means that the material that this coin is made up of is in fact 90 percent uh, gold 
and 10% copper. We can prove that by just simply doing the ultrasound test. Again, I'll be doing other videos and showing you how to use this uh, probe and different materials. I'm gonna be using it on the on various coins, showing you how, how the different alloys work. But for now, we're gonna continue with our testing. Now we're gonna continue with uh, volume testing. For this last test, I'm gonna be using my scale again and then a cup of water like a little cup of water i'm gonna set this to zero i'm gonna tear it to zero like this because i'm going to be measuring the water displaced by my coin to find out what the volume of my coin is so again i'm going to be hanging my coin by a thread like this and then this is another test that you could use. So it's like a balance test. The center of gravity of the coin should be almost at the center because it's supposed to be uniformly, um, the weight is supposed to be uniformly distributed. So that's another thing that you can look for in coins. So for, but for now I'm gonna be dipping my coin and I'm gonna make sure that my coin is not touching anything, any of the surroundings. And I'm looking for a value of about 2.43. There you have it, of 2.43. My hand is not the steadiest hand, but it's staying within the range about, of about 2.4344 on average, as you can see. About 2.4342. So that proves that our coin is uh, in fact authentic because once we punch in the numbers, once we use our calculator and then we take the weight of the coin, which was originally 41.67 grams and divide it by the volume, it should give us a density of about 17.1. So 41.7 divided by 2.43. So there you have it, about 17.1 grams per uh, cubic centimeter. And that shows you that our coin is cannot be made up of any other material other than, than, than 90% gold, 10% copper. I mean, there's no no other way that it would have all these properties. And then again, it also, this one more test that I forgot to do was this one, the magnetic. This coin is not magnetic, as you can see. This is a neodymium magnet. And then you can also kind of tap it to hear the, the, the ping of it. I don't know if you can appreciate the ping of it. That's just how this coin is supposed to sound. If it was another, let's say, a disc like this, it would sound something more like this. Again, every metal has its own sound, so this one does not have a ping to it. This is a Mexican coin. It sounds different. It does not have a ping like the Centenario. So again, we can safely assume that our Centenario is in fact authentic and is made up of gold. Again, thank you for watching guys. I will talk more about um, how to use our ultrasound thickness gauge in another video. I would also talk about how to find the, the different speeds of sound for different materials and for different um, alloys. Again, thank you for watching. Have a good day.